Have you ever sat at a traffic light staring at the red signal and wondered, who decides when this thing changes? At first glance, traffic lights seem like simple devices, but their operation is far more complex than meets the eye. Behind those red, yellow, and green lights lies a fascinating system of technology, logic, and increasingly, artificial intelligence. So how exactly does a traffic light know when to switch signals? Let's explore the inner workings of this everyday marvel. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. In the simplest setups, traffic lights operate on a fixed timer. These timers are pre-programmed based on the expected flow of traffic at different times of the day. For example, during morning rush hour, lights might allow longer green signals for cars heading into the city. Later in the day, the timer shifts to favor traffic heading out. While this system is reliable in predictable traffic conditions, it has one glaring flaw. It doesn't adapt. If you've ever waited at a red light late at night with no other cars in sight, you've experienced this inefficiency firsthand. These older systems are slowly being phased out in favor of smarter, more dynamic technologies. One of the most common ways traffic lights sense vehicles is through inductive loop detectors. These are coils of wire embedded into the road surface, usually in the shape of a rectangle or square. When a car passes over or stops on these loops, it disrupts the magnetic field, sending a signal to the traffic controller. Think of it as a metal detector, but for cars. When the system senses a vehicle, it knows that lane requires attention. If no cars are detected in a lane, the light may skip that direction entirely or shorten the green phase. These detectors have revolutionized traffic control, but they're not perfect. For instance, they can struggle to detect bicycles or motorcycles depending on their sensitivity. However, they've been a significant step forward in making traffic flow more efficient. If you've noticed cameras mounted on traffic lights, they're not there to catch you speeding, at least not always. Many of these cameras are part of vehicle detection systems. Unlike inductive loops, these cameras use image processing to monitor traffic flow. These systems can count vehicles, measure their speed, and even detect congestion. They're particularly useful at intersections with complex layouts where multiple lanes and turning signals require more precise coordination. But cameras too have limitations. They can struggle in poor weather conditions like heavy rain or snow, and their accuracy depends on the quality of the software analyzing the footage. Despite this, they're a crucial tool in modern traffic management. Another technology that helps traffic lights decide when to change is weight sensors, often embedded in the pavement. These sensors can detect the presence of heavy vehicles, such as buses or trucks, and adjust the light timing accordingly. For example, if a truck is waiting at an intersection, the system might extend the green light to give it more time to accelerate through. This prevents unnecessary delays and helps keep traffic moving smoothly. Let's not forget about pedestrians. When you press the button at a crosswalk, you're actually triggering a request in the traffic signals control system. But not all buttons are created equal. In some cases, pressing the button simply ensures that the pedestrian signal will activate during the next cycle. In others, particularly in low traffic areas, the system might immediately interrupt the traffic flow to let pedestrians cross. Interestingly, newer systems use sensors to detect when people are waiting, eliminating the need for buttons entirely. Some even use thermal cameras to spot pedestrians in all kinds of weather, ensuring no one gets stuck waiting unnecessarily. At the heart of every traffic light system is the traffic controller, a small computer housed in a box near the intersection. 
This controller processes all the input from sensors, cameras, and timers to determine when to change the lights. It's a bit like a conductor orchestrating a symphony. The controller balances competing demands, vehicles in one direction, pedestrians waiting to cross, and even emergency vehicles that need priority. Modern traffic controllers are highly sophisticated, capable of running complex algorithms to optimize traffic flow. Some are even connected to centralized traffic management systems, allowing city planners to make real-time adjustments based on changing conditions. As cities grow and traffic becomes more congested, traditional systems are being upgraded with artificial intelligence, AI. AI-powered traffic lights don't just react to what's happening, they learn from it. These systems use data from sensors, cameras, and even GPS signals from vehicles to predict traffic patterns. Over time, they can adapt to seasonal changes, special events, or even accidents, making traffic flow more efficient than ever. For example, AI might notice that traffic tends to back up in one direction during lunch hours and adjust the light timing to accommodate. It's like having a traffic engineer on duty 24-7. You might have seen ambulances or fire trucks sailing through red lights with ease. This isn't just luck, it's often the result of emergency vehicle preemption systems. These systems use radio signals, infrared beams, or GPS to communicate with traffic lights, requesting immediate green signals in their direction. This ensures emergency responders can reach their destinations as quickly as possible, potentially saving lives. Despite all this technology, no system is perfect. Equipment can fail, sensors can misfire, and traffic patterns can change unpredictably. Moreover, implementing these systems can be costly, particularly in older cities where infrastructure upgrades are challenging. Looking ahead, the integration of connected vehicles, cars that communicate with each other and with traffic infrastructure, could revolutionize traffic control. Imagine a world where your car tells the traffic light you're approaching and the system adjusts in real time. So, the next time you're sitting at a red light, take a moment to appreciate the incredible complexity working behind the scenes. Whether it's a humble timer, a high-tech camera, or an AI system crunching data, there's a lot more happening than meets the eye. Traffic lights are a perfect example of how technology quietly shapes our everyday lives. They may seem like simple devices, but they're a testament to human ingenuity and the ongoing quest to make our world run a little smoother. What do you think about the systems managing traffic today? Share your thoughts below, and if you have suggestions for our next video, Feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.